Right up there is perfect, Bert. But just get in there and start pulling that stuff away and setting it off to the side. Okay. The Dillman team has brought in a small excavator to dig out an entrance into what their ERT scan suggests could be an underground tunnel system and chamber. So right now we're digging at the exact location that the geophysicists had pinpointed for us. Somewhere around 30 meters, about 100 feet deep, fairly large target in the center here, and a few smaller ones off to the east there. That may be the chamber that we're looking for, and these other anomalies may be the tunneling to get there. I can't tell you the excitement that I have building over this because it once again falls right in line with my grandfather's writings and his audio tapes. It's like he was guiding us here, and so now we are digging it. It's clearly an opening. Oh, yeah. We're starting to get an opening. Yep, no, this is definitely deep. Shine your light in there. Oh, yeah. Holy you, Are you seeing that? I am seeing that. That is a chamber. I mean, this is... This is incredible. It's huge. I still can't see the back, which is just crazy. All right, let's get it go. Come I want to get in there. I am just excited to get in here. Who knows the last time anybody was in this chamber? Careful, man. Go slow. Who knows what could be lying right beyond that dirt, and it's just waiting for us. What are you seeing? It's huge in here. Really? I mean, I'm talking from where you guys are, at least 40 feet back before the end of it that I can see. Right. Can you see what I'm seeing? Oh, there's a steep drop off, too. What? So Stay it goes back. down deep? Yeah. Man, you better be careful. All right, I'm going deeper in. Can you still hear me, Dad? Yeah. Hey, Derek, I'm going to try to light you. Walk all around and see if you see anything. Amazing. It's massive. Is there any evidence of anyone being in this chamber? Any tool marks? Man, this is, there's a lot to see. I mean, it's massive. Hey, Derek? Yeah? Why don't you, uh, why don't you get on out of here, man? We need to dig this out. Me and mom need to come down there and join you. We need to open this up. All right, coming up. Now we've got to get to these anomalies that the ERT scan had produced for us that may be a tunnel system. Pass you my flashlight. <laughs> because what may be behind there could be everything that our family's been searching for for over 55 years. <laughs> right on, man. It's awesome. Dude. Great job. But Ooh. we need to get all the way in there. That's cool. We do. It sounds like there's more area to dig or more to find. All right, let's stop talking and let's start digging. Let's get Bert right now to dig this out. A tunnel system to me says it could be engineering, possibly even man-made. It gives purpose to why we're here and to what we're looking for. I think we're cool to get in, man. OK. Great work. It is definitely moist in here. Yeah. And look, so this is the almost like the shelf I was talking about. Yeah. There's this shelf here. You seeing this, Mom? Yep. Come on. You see that, Dad? Well, wait a minute. Those I do. Those are but teeth, guys. That's some kind of jawbone. Yeah, that's why I saw that. It looks there's more bones there. Looks like that could be part of like a rib cage or a vertebrae. And that's not no small animal. No, it's definitely a jawbone. You can see it from this angle yeah. over here. It doesn't look like anything's, it's holding anything up. It looks like it was wedged there. Yeah, that's what's so strange. So and then, like and this, then this looks kind of like a tibia or a... That, that, I mean, I can reach it. No, we don't want to touch it yet. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, these bones are interesting. And just the way that jawbone's placed, I don't think that's natural. I mean, that's... Yeah. Hey, look at this, guys. It's super small. No, that's maze, man. 
this is definitely ancient corn, man. Ancient Ooh, maize. Um, maize is sacred. It wasn't just food. The fact that it's so tiny, you can just see the level of detail on it still after hundreds of years. There's a lot to investigate in here. All right, show me where the ERT scan said the tunnels were. Follow me over here. You see that slab almost across the top right there? Yeah. And how it looks like it's almost dug out just a little bit underneath? Fits right in line with the readings we were looking at earlier, leading straight towards three lakes. Right. And there is no massive objects. Doesn't seem to be, at this point, another entrance that we can see that we can walk into. I had hoped that entering into this chamber, we would find some of Montezuma's treasure. But there's a reason, a purpose, why this has been hidden and covered up. And so I still believe that we're in the right place. We got more trials to go through. Oh. We have more to do. There's no giving up. But this is the end of the road for today. If we're going to attempt to dig this out, it ain't happening by hand. The Dillman team have called in heavy machinery operators to figure out a way to get a drilling rig into the chamber. Dan's plan is to drill a hole so he can send in a camera to see if the openings he found in the ERT scans are actually tunnels. We've got a drill rig here. That drill rig needs to be able to be lowered down as close as possible so that the drillers can start penetrating into what we believe is a tunnel system. That looks like about as far as you can get in there. Yeah, I can't go much further. All right, well, we'll get you to, to back this uh, bad boy out, and we're gonna get the drill rig in here and see what we can find. I can't even begin to explain the excitement that is building but also have to be reserved. We've been overjoyed at locations, and then it turns out there's nothing there. If we find a tunnel system, then we've got proof of, of man-made engineering. Does it mean the treasure's here? I hope to God it does. Good there? Yeah, man, this is perfect. We're going to want to get that drill bit directly into that corner. I'd say at about a 45-degree angle, right, Derek? Yeah. Should be 80 to 100 feet in. The tunnel system could be closer, could be farther. Pretty easy to tell if you hit a tunnel, the, the drill bit just keep going. You know what I mean? It's not gonna have no resistance on it. So. All right, we're ready. Go ahead and start drilling. I don't know what to expect. I'm excited, I'm worried, I'm stressed. Whoever's tunnel system it was, once we're in there, who knows what we're gonna find. What I want is proof to show that we know what we're doing, we know what we're talking about, and that this, this is real. It's up really hard. My family's been doing this for years, for generations, and this could be that next big boom that pushes us even further forward than we ever thought we would be. What's going on? I think we hit a pocket. In a pocket? Yeah, open space. Opens like a void? Yeah. Hey, Dad, you got a copy? What's going on? Looks like we have something here. We've got a camera that's designed to go into pipes, and we're going to find out if that opening is a tunnel. All right, you got it. Keep on going. I feel that we are right at the cusp of finding where the treasure is. 